Well, hello, and welcome to our new episode of Books That Never Should Have Been Famous, but became famous anyway, just because it was different. Uh, our first guest here is Royal Pain in My Neck. Say hello to the Red Queen from Alice in Wonderland. Why, thank you, Mr. Interviewer. Stop it! Sit up when you're near a queen! Jeez. Um, sorry, ma'am. Uh, as a character of Lewis Carroll, do you think uh, he did a good job of writing his books? What a horrible question! You should have said, did he not portray me goodly? You are ridiculous. Of course he did! I live for one thing. Chopped off heads and that and things going my way. Uh, that was that was two things. How dare you! Cards, take him away. Welcome back, and uh, thank you again for letting me come and ask you some more questions. You're welcome. Now, what do you want? Okay, I I have to know this. Uh, as a daughter of Lewis Carroll, do you think that you were affected by his, let's say, prescriptions? Next! Oh, fine. Um, well, at the very end of the book, when the card was on trial, uh, Lewis woke Alice up before we knew what happened to the card. Do you remember what happened to him? I don't have to listen to this. Next! <clears throat> uh, okay, then. You do have to answer some qu- Okay, maybe, maybe not. Um, fine. How, how much do you hate Alice? Speak clearly when you talk. And she was horrible. A tiny devilin. If I ever see her again in another book, I just might make her go across a giant chessboard with odd poetry reciting people for no reason. Mm, like, I guess that sounds like a fitting punishment for not following your exact- Yes, it is. Now ask another or you'll just be like the last interviewer. No, no. It's okay. Uh, I have more questions. These ones are from our uh, our viewers to you about Lewis Carroll. Um, has has he ever done drugs? How how much has he done? And uh, please don't do more, sir. It ruins your books. Off with his heads! I only have one head. Yo, welcome back. And we're here with the Red Queen right now. And uh, I was just about to ask her last question. Um, I don't really have a lot to say, but. We all love the books, but why do some characters come out of nowhere and uh, like the griffin and the tortoise? I mean, two gigantic beasts and they just... Ask your question already! I, 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 okay, uh, it makes no sense. What's, a, what's even going on in your heads while, uh, while you doing this in the book? I guess we're out of time now. Uh, We'll see you next week when uh, we go over through the looking glass when, with the horrible conclusion to the awful series we didn't even know started. <laughs>